Hello, this is take three of our tip a day in May for May 4th. So today I am trying to talk to you about scissors, although it has not been going that well for me. However, I am here. I have a positive attitude about the whole thing and I know take number three is going to work. <laughs> All right. So I want to talk to you about these scissors. Now what I have here in front of me basically are three, three main types of scissors. Okay, these are the ones that I use that I have in my toolbox all the time. Of the three different types, this is probably the pair I use the least. All right, these are the Tim Holtz uh, Tonic Studio Scissors. They have a serrated blade. You can see that, they're very pointed and the blade is very short. All right, it's also non-stick. It's got a non-stick coating on it. These are well used as you can tell from the, the edges of the blades. All right, so these scissors are great if you need to have some oomph. I would not recommend cutting with paper because of the serrated edge. All right, however, they're great for opening boxes, like undoing a package when you receive a package. They're really good for that. They're also good for cutting your uh, acrylic and rubber stamps. They're really good for ribbon. Pretty much anything that you need accuracy and maybe a little bit of force behind it. Okay, and they're very comfortable to use. They have a very large grip surface, plus these handles are very soft. So when you're using them, even with arthritic fingers, it doesn't really hurt that much. Okay, that's those ones. Now, I wanna to talk to you about my long blades. Okay, that's what I call them. I, I'm sure they have another name, but this is what I call them is the long blade because that's really what they are. Look at the difference in the blade length here. Okay, that's quite a big difference. Okay, now another big difference is with the long blade scissors is they have a blunt end, all right? So they're not for detail. Whereas these scissors have a very pointed end and they are definitely for detail. They have a large surface to hold your fingers and your thumb. All right, they're very easy to open and close. These are Fiskars, but there are other brands. All right, I just like Fiskars because I know that they, they last a long time. Okay, I've had these scissors for many, many years. Okay, so uh, what else did I wanna tell you about this? Okay, you're using these for straight or sort of straight longer cuts. That's what these scissors are for. Then if we wanna move on to our detail or fussy cutting scissors, all right, you can see that I have two different styles here. Now these two are very similar. All right, this is the scissors that close to my heart carries. All right, and they're sh so sharp and pointed that they keep the blade covered in uh, a little protective case. All right, they, ha they have a, a non-stick coating on them. Although the regular ones are still available, I would pay the extra to get the non-stick coating. Okay, they're a short blade, they're a smooth blade that's very, very sharp, and they're pointed on the end. Okay, these are very similar in idea. Okay, the handle's just a slightly different shape, but these are soft. Okay, these are made by B, I believe, EK, EK Success. Okay, and they're same thing. Okay, they're very sharp, very pointed. Okay, these are the ones that I use the most for my fussy cutting or my detailing. All right, the reason is because of the handle, I have very bad arthritis in my hands. So when I'm using them, I'm using this sort of an action. Okay, and I don't have to worry about pressure on my knuckles or on my fingers. Okay, and they lock like this. This is a pair of Fiskars ones, of course, because they're orange, you can tell. I'm pretty sure you can get them in other brands, but this is the brand that I use and they have a sort of a yellowy orange blade because they are titanium, which means that they're very strong and they keep their sharpness for a long time. Okay, so I'm gonna start my demonstration using my long bladed scissors. Okay, and I'm gonna grab another piece of paper out of my e -Play Love collection. This is my third piece that I have cut. <laughs> yeah, okay, so. Uh, I'm going to cut off the branding strip or as close to my heart calls it, the zip strip. And the reason we can call it something different is because you can actually use these strips on your designs. 
Okay, they're great for cards, for albums, for scrapbooking pages, whatever you like. All right, I'm gonna cut it from this side. Oh, wait a minute, am I? No, I'm gonna cut it from this side so that you can see the difference quite easily. Now with long bladed scissors, when you're starting your cut, you want to have your scissors open as wide as they'll go or as wide as is comfortable for your hand. And you're going to line up where the opening is here on your scissors with the place you want to start your cutting. All right, then you're going to move your eyes up to where the end of your blade is because you want to see where you're going. All right, you know the blade on your scissors is straight. So if you've lined it up properly to start with and you're looking at where it's going, you know the cut is going to be straight. Now you see, I got to the end of the length of my scissor. I did not close the end. I just reopened it and slid it along until I got to where I was going to start cutting again. And now I've got my eye on the end of the scissors. I'm not closing it all away. I'm opening it again, sliding it along, watching where it's going. All right, opening it again. And at no time do I ever hear the click of the scissors actually closing all the way. And then when you're done, you have a nice straight and clean cut. Okay, there's no choppy edges. Okay, so that is cutting with your long blade scissors. Now for the third time, <laughs> sorry, I have stamped the party girl. Okay, and I'm going to just bring this in a bit so that you can see a little more easily what I'm doing. Okay, so now when you're fussy cutting, you know that you're more often going to be using um, different directions when you're cutting something out in detail. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the extra card stock. And you see how I have to use a sawing motion there? If I was to use my long blades, it's done so much more quickly and easily. All right, so you just need to have the right scissors for the job. And I have these two pair of scissors out all the time. Okay, I very seldom put them away except when a project is finished. All right, so here I'm going to leave a bit of a margin around the outside. That just allows for a more finished look and room for errors. <laughs> all right, so now I'm moving my cardstock. I'm not gonna finish that cut. I'm gonna come back to that in a moment. Okay, but I'm just turning my cardstock and my scissors basically stay in the same place. All right, and I'm just going to move around. Sorry. After the third time, you'd think I was like a total expert at this. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just changing direction again. And going all the way around. Nice, whoops, nice curve there. My hands must be getting tired after all these takes. Okay, and going around here. And now I'm moving the cardstock just a little bit more as I'm cutting around the hair, just to give it a bit more texture. Okay, and at this point, I'm just going to snip that right off because remember we want as little extra cardstock to have to deal with as possible. Okay, and now I'm coming around here. Okay, and again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just going to leave that for now and just keep going around the edges, leaving my little bit of a margin. Okay, and oh, here, look at that. I made a mistake and I cut across the black line. So I'm not gonna just throw this away and start over. Okay, I'm backing my scissors off to where they should be. And then I'm just going to continue cutting. All right, and I'm just gonna cut that extra off. Now, if you look at that place where I made the mistake right there, get right into the camera view. Okay, you see how close up we are? And you can see the way the cut is, but everything is still continuous. So by the time you finish coloring this and you attach it to your work, you're never gonna know the difference, all right? 
Okay, so now I want to go back and I need to cut this part right here. So now I'm going to make use of the tips of my scissors because I'm in a very small area. Okay, I need to be very careful about where I'm cutting and how much. So I want to use just the tip of my scissors just to get into those areas. And I see I've got a little bit jagged there. So I want to just round that off a bit. Okay, that's better. All right, and now I need to go back here and I just need to get in here and make a, a little bit more detail. And because these points are so fine, it's very easy to get in to the small area to make your cut. All right, so that is it. That is fussy cutting. Okay, I, you don't need to watch me do all of this. All right, so now I wanna to talk to you about cleaning your scissors. Okay, so if you are using this type of scissor, you probably won't need to pay much attention to them. All right, they may need um, a wipe every once in a while with some warm soapy, soapy, soapy water and just dry them off right away and you're good to go. But if you have this kind of scissor, and you can tell how long I've had these because they're not coated, all right, they tend to get a build up on them. You can see that a glue, okay, and you can see over here. It's about time for these to get cleaned. Okay, so you can use again, soapy, warm soapy water. You can also use uh, adhesive remover if you need to, if it's really built up there. And then the other thing is you can use a very fine steel wool, just very, very gently. And then if you're doing that, once you're finished, wash it with uh, warm soapy water again, rinse it off and give it a good dry, and then you'll be good to go. All right, this one really needs some attention. Lots of goop on there. Okay, I think that is it. If you have any questions at all about looking after your scissors or using your scissors, please let me know in the comments below and we will be talking to you very soon. Thank you for joining me.